There is some promising news on the vaccine front with Pfizer announcing recent clinical trials data shows that its COVID-19 vaccine is safe and 100% effective against the virus in children ages 12 to 15 years old. So let's discuss the findings. Let's do that with the trial's principal investigator at Yale School of Medicine, Dr. Onyema Obuwagu. So good to see you once again here with us. So tell us, how is this different or is it different? Uh, how you handle a vaccine trial dealing with children than you would with the adults? Yeah, uh, good good point. Um, you know, children are a little different uh, than adults um, when it comes to clinical trials. Um, there's certainly protections in place um, regarding uh, children. And so um, typically what we do when we're enrolling children in trials are we involve their parents, we get consent from their parents, but we also get ass assent from the kids, which means they have to express you know, some basic understanding of what uh, the clinical trial is and also uh, express interest in participating in it. And I got to tell you, you know, having interacted with the kids, you know, just the level of enthusiasm both the parents and the kids had to participate in the study was just incredible. And I think riding on the heels of how well the vaccines performed in older adolescents and, and uh, adults, I think it made the conversation so much easier. Yeah, that is certainly good news. Uh, my youngest is 14, so I know she's anxiously awaiting her turn to, to get her shot. So do we know, do we have any idea as to when the FDA might approve this vaccine in children ages 12 to 15? Yeah, so the Pfizer vaccine is now a known commodity. I mean, it's uh, authorized for adults. We now have, you know, robust real-world experience with how well, how safe and effective the vaccines are. So I think those should factor in favorably to the FDA's review of the clinical trial data. We're currently putting that data together to send to the FDA for an extension of the EUA to kids aged 12 and 15. So hopefully, you know, that happens in, in the upcoming weeks. Protect kids against the uh, variants we're seeing as well? Well, we know from the adult study, we just uh, released uh, top line data from the six months follow up for the, the survey in adults. And we see that um, even for the most feared uh, B1351 South Africa variant, that the vaccine did excellently with protecting against a disease from that variant. And we also have, you know, in vitro data showing that the vaccine should work well against the B117, the, the variant identified in the UK. So for now, I think for, for the Pfizer vaccine, we're good. Well, and we're obviously seeing more and more adults being vaccinated, but now hopefully teens will be able to stand in line as well. What does this all mean for fully getting back to normal, reopening schools, doing all of the things that kids love to do with sports activities, et cetera? What does that do to that timeline? Yeah, so I think, you know, we all have to acknowledge the toll it's had on kids. I think that uh, perception that kids don't die as much as adults, such that it's a much more benign uh, disease in kids, which is a good thing, but it's affected their social well-being, their mental and emotional health, and also kept them from physical activities that are critically important. So, you know, ha having them being able to, to vaccinate will be critically important to resume normalcy. I mean, the truth is that you can actually open schools safely just by observing public health measures. But, you know, I think that the vaccine could be that extra uh, level of confidence and protection that allows kids truly resume uh, normal, um, you know, life uh, in the school setting um, uh, coming up soon. But, you know, for now, it's middle school, you know, uh, high school age kids uh, for now. And uh, the data for much younger kids would probably be is many, many months uh, down the line. Uh, Dr. We've been talking to you for the past year about these vaccines and trials, and you always give it to us straight. You give us the facts. We rarely get the, that smile out of you, anything <laughs> personal. I know you just got work to do here, but what does it mean for you now, man? It's been a long road, a long year to now be to this point where we're testing the vaccine in kids, just personally, man. Um, have you had a rah-rah moment, celebrated it all, or, or, or just, just taken a personal moment to reflect on where we are now? Yeah, it's been a long road, frankly. And I also have twins who turned 13 in September. And uh, sorry, in uh, <laughs> last Saturday, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, That's how busy he is. He forgot his kid's birthday. <laughs> they're going to play this clip again, yes. Yeah, so, but, you know, on a personal note, it's great that my kids could also, um, you know, uh, potentially in the near future um, receive a vaccine that can allow them to, to resume normalcy. And frankly, I think in, in the field, we're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel that as we continue to ramp up uh, vaccinations that that's certainly the pathway by which we get to the end of the pandemic and resuming normalcy so i think it's a lot of exhaustion a lot of work but a lot of 
hope at this time that things will be brighter soon. Well, thank you for all that you have done, that you are continuing to do. Dr. Onyema Oguwabu, thank you so much for being with us. It's my pleasure and thanks for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.